I think an advantage that I have is I'm, I am very empath I consider myself to be a very empathetic person and because I have a tight bond with my fans I'm able to I guess somewhat predict what they're going to enjoy predict what they're going to want to click on and that helps me decide on that and that from there from with idea I find all the material I want to use in the videos and every video is different like sometimes we do reaction content sometimes we do IRLs and that's the beauty of it like I can fully be creative and just do whatever I want at any time uh, and and then after that it goes through an editing process uh, and then I we double check it and usually I re, will re-edit it like 10 times myself and then the thumbnail will go, I'll make a bunch of thumbnails and we'll a b test the thumbnails so see which one works better and then the content goes up and it's up <laughs> forever. Um, what advice would you give to others in terms of what it takes to produce content at scale, mm -hmm. but also what it takes to really invest and understand what your audience wants or what, as you said, to predict what your audience may want? Yes. So another thing that I have to my advantage is I think helping me become as big as I am is that I do have a Bachelor of Science. So I'm able to look at my contact in a very analytical point. I'm able to look at the graphs and you can see where the videos drop off. And you can be like, why did people leave there? What, did, what caused them to leave? And you can see like maybe it was like something, maybe I went on too big of a tangent and I lost people. Maybe uh, there was like a, like a blank screen for a bit and it just visually didn't catch people and it was a, a way to exit. Or maybe the flow and the rhythm dropped off. So I'm able to study that and figure out why, like, I guess scientifically, why people might leave. And at the end of the day, there's like two things that make a video go viral, and that's AVD, which is the average view duration, and click-through rate, which is the percentage of people who click on your video. If you can have both those numbers high, then that's almost guarantees a viral video, mathematically. Um, and I don't know, this again, the algorithm is a breathing, <laughs> living organism, pretty much. It will change every day. By the time you watch this, who knows? That might have changed. But at the moment, that's how I think it works. 